Okay, this is Ware Park. This is shelter number one. There's a playground and a trail all through here. And this is where we will be meeting and eating on the 18th. Now here's the alert. That's, this, that's why I put up this video for you. This is Ware Park City Park. Okay, see it? This is Ware Park City Park. They got uh, basketball courts, baseball fields, just like a little bit of everything here. But this is where we're going to meet. And you got kids, we got beautiful, beautiful playgrounds here. You will enjoy them very, very much. And that's hopefully the pavilion that we will be in, number two. Number two pavilion, okay? Now here's what the alert is all about. We were going to do it at six o'clock, but we're not going to meet at six o'clock, okay? We're going to wind up meeting for lunch at 12 noon. 12 noon is the new meetup time for the meet and eat. And the reason is simple. Number one, I called the city and they said that normally it is a reservation situation for parties. But the lady said the weekends that you're doing, the two weekends, the, uh, um, the Shades of the Past and the Rod Run, no reservations are being accepted. It is a first come, first serve basis. So she said you probably should get out there early because there's going to be a football tournament here for these two weekends. So this place, now this last weekend they had a baseball tournament, this place was packed. So he said they're going to be packed for the next two weekends for football. So I decided to change the time to 12 noon lunch, lunch at Ware Park at 12 noon on the 18th. Now right where we are right here is where I really would like to go and Jeff and Tootsie Camping are going to, uh, they're helping us out and I'm glad, I'm very thankful for that. And other people said they would help us out as well and I appreciate that, Barb and Bill and there's a whole host of others. But that's where I want to get together is right there at this corner. So what I'm asking is if you're going to help out, you want to get here, get here early. Um, I'd like to get here around 9 o'clock and start setting up. So I know Jeff and Tootsie are, are probably watching this. I'd like to get out here at nine o'clock, get here before it, it before this place is taken over, and we'll grab some of those picnic tables over there and move them to a little section here, make our little meet and greet area. Please bring your chairs with you, and then we can we can cook, and uh, we can I can serve you. I mean it's it's important that we secure um, this spot early, so that's why the alert. That's why alert, 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 because we're not going to meet at six o'clock. There's another reason too. Six o'clock in a couple of weeks, it's already starting to get dark. And this place will be packed with people. You won't find any parking. But you get here at noon, it's not going to be an issue because right now uh, it's 1130 and there's maybe six cars in here and a guy sitting drinking a water. So we could secure this area and you meet us at noon, we'll have everything all ready for you. Okay, come on in, you eat. We finish up, I throw everything back in the car. <laughs> I'll take it back to the cabin and I'm going out and shooting video because uh, Saturday is the day. That's the killer day. And I really want to get some good interviews and, and some good video, but I want to meet with you guys. And so let's spread the word if you know who's coming or you may think people are coming. 12 noon at Ware Park, right here in Pigeon Forge, right across the street from the new Weagles Weigels uh, with an eye shot of McDonald's. So if you know where McDonald's is, you can see Ware Park. It's uh, maybe two football fields from my eyesight right now, okay? So it'll be Saturday the 18th, 12 noon at Ware Park for the Eat and Meet for Vacation Station TV. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. Now, the nice thing about Ware Park is they've got beautiful walking trails through here that are very well maintained. They've got football fields here, 
lots of overflow parking, but we're going to be in competition with uh, football leagues. So it, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It'd be definitely entertaining, for especially you people that are football fans. Very entertaining indeed. This is all part of Ware Park. Get out of the road. Uh, silly, silly squirrel. But this is really a big park. And you can see that. There's people walking on the trail right now. Hopefully you can see them. It goes all the way around the park. It's very, so you have to eat, you stuff yourselves with spaghetti and meatballs you could take a walk around the park. It's very, very nice. They've got restrooms. It is patrolled by the local constabulary, so you're very safe here. There's no yo-yoing here, and there's no gangs, and none of that stuff. Not at all. Not at all. The cops don't put up with that nonsense here. All right, so if you're coming here to Yo-Yo, get out of here, Yo-Yo. Nobody's gonna, you're not gonna last here. There's the uh, soccer field. All well lit too. Really well lit. It's not just a little, see, I, I thought about going to Patriot Park, but that's so pedestrian. It's so blah. You know, this is the place. This is our backyard. So this is, you know, this is where we belong. See people walking. Nice paved, wide, handicap access accessible. If you have a wheelchair, easy to get around here. No problem whatsoever. Look at all this parking. That's a lot of parking. All these ball fields here. Amazing, isn't it? And they keep it really clean. Notice. I mean, you go to other play, other city parks in other towns. It's always dirty and filthy and there's... It's just nasty, you know what I mean? Not here in Tennessee. They've got pride here. Tennesseans take pride, and I'm one of those Tennesseans that take pride in keeping everything clean. I'm always picking up people's trash, and it just burns me when I see the out-of-towners throwing their crap out the window. I usually yell at them, what, do you think this is home or some other dirty place? This is Tennessee. Show a little class. But you know how some people are. They got no problem throwing the McDonald's bags out the window. It's like stuff for the kids to do. There's two playgrounds right out here. Complete. All the silly stuff they need to go on. All the silly stuff. They'll have a ball. Bring your grandkids up here, your kids, bring your neighbors' kids. You know, just say, come on, let's go. We're gonna have a whole day. There you go. Right across the street from the shell station I will never go back to. Maybe you shouldn't either, if you know what I mean. That's where it took them, um, almost two months for my car to clear the water out of it. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Oh, I'm windblown. Oh, I'm so, so windblown. I had fun showing you this. And, uh, of course, uh, keep tuned to Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And we will be bringing you Shades of the Past and the Rod Run all this week and next week. And hopefully you enjoy the shows. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. Let people know you found Vacation Station TV. And who else did they find? They found me, Joe. Joe in the morning. Make sure you join us every morning. Joe in the morning. Not Jeff, just Joe in the morning. <laughs> Join Jeff and Joe in the morning every morning, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Bye, y'all.